two, one. Hi, this is me. I'm Sam, your typical 16-year-old teenage dweeb. I'm probably what you would call the weird loner type, but that's only because I'm super tall and awkward. Ugh. I guess those weird cucumber glasses didn't help either. Uh, anyways, I don't make friends as easy as the other kids do. But uh, even despite that, I'm actually super lucky to have three of the nicest girls I know as my best friends. First is Ava. Ava's the type you don't really want to mess with unless you really have to. She may be headstrong, but she's really loyal. Even then, she can still come off as a jerk if you really don't know her. And the girl she just pushed out of the way? That was Olive. She's what other kids kind of call a goth. But even though she likes to focus her time on some weird things that even I don't even understand sometimes. In all reality, she's a really great friend. And finally is Juliet. She's always falling for new guys, trying to keep up the latest trends, and just loves to have fun. But what I get to see is a really down-to-earth girl who just has a really big heart. The four of us always seem to get along, no matter how different we are on the outside. And when one of us gets in trouble, the other three are always there to help. Sam! Sam! Hey, what's wrong, Ava? Juliet's gone. Uh, what do you mean by gone? As in we can't find her? She's not around anymore? I thought you were with her, Olive. Well, I was, but then she started talking to some weird guy and I got uncomfortable. That doesn't mean you ditch her with him. Guys, come on. She's gotta be around here somewhere. How about we split up and look? Whoever finds her, call the others. Yeah, sure. Juliet! Juliet! Excuse me, I'm looking for a friend. Her hat! Um, excuse me? Have you seen my friend? She's a bit shorter than me. Wearing a pink jacket? I'm sorry, I haven't. You talking about the girl in the hat that walked by here earlier with that creepy dude? Uh, yeah, this one, right? Yeah, that one. She came around here about 10 minutes ago. Really? Thank you. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me? Hey, uh, can you move a little bit to the left? Ugh. Hey, you bunch of jerks. My friend's probably getting killed on the street, and if nobody moves, you're all gonna join her. Thank you all. Hey, I'm not in the mood. No, really. Are you talking about the girl that was leaving about five minutes ago? Uh, yes? I mean, probably. I'm sure there's a lot of people leaving right now that it's midnight. Oh, well if it's her, I remember her talking to a guy. She was gonna go back to his place or something. Ugh, Juliet, what did you get yourself into? I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. Come on, Juliet, this isn't the time not to have your phone with you. Is that someone's phone ringing? Juliet's phone! She never leaves her phone anywhere. <sighs> Juliet, where are you? <sighs> I feel so bad. You feel bad. I'm the one who was in charge of her when she went missing. Come on, guys. It doesn't matter now. Uh, should we maybe call her parents to tell them we can't find her? It's probably the right thing to do. Knowing her parents, they'll probably have the police out looking for her within the hour. Uh, hi, Mr. Becker. We have some news about Juliet. Oh, yes, Juliet. She's right here if you need to talk to her. Wait, what? Is that Eva? Anyways, like I said, Juliet is home with me right now. Did she, uh, 
come home with anyone? Olive? You're there too? But, uh, no. I came and picked her up from the party you were all at. She said she wasn't feeling well and couldn't find any of you. So, she's alright then? Yes, she's doing fine. You can come see her if you'd like. She'll meet you outside our house. Uh, that sounds great. We'll be there in a few minutes. And, uh, Sam? Uh, yes sir? Try not to lose my daughter again next time, alright? Uh, yes sir. Juliet, you worried us sick, you know that? I know, I'm sorry. <sighs> I thought they were gonna skin me alive when they found out you were missing. And I would have done it, too. I was, uh, beginning to think we weren't gonna find you, Jules. I'm really sorry, Sam. But, uh, why'd you have to go anyways? Well, uh, I started feeling really tired. But when I searched the room, I couldn't find any of you guys, and I got really scared. I called all of you, and no answer. Finally, I called my dad, and he came and got me. I lost my phone after that, too. The whole time I was panicking, and I, I couldn't find you, Sam, or you, Ava, or even you, Olive. It, it was really bad. You mean this phone? <laughs> yes, you found it, Sam. Oh, my parents would have had my tail if I really did lose it. We're all really sorry we left you behind, Juliet. It wasn't cool of us. <laughs> oh, come on. It was really loud and there were a lot of people to get lost in between. It wasn't any of your faults. We, uh, we still feel really bad, though. Um, uh, do you think you can convince your dad to let you go out and get ice cream with us? Uh, yeah, my treat. <laughs> I'm sure he'll let me go. You all are the best. You know that? We know. I'm still surprised that the ice cream store was open past 1 a.m. <laughs> Jules, it's New Year's Day. Of course they're gonna stay open a little later. Sam, could you go get some more napkins, please? Eva over here doesn't know how to keep the ice cream in her mouth and not all over the both of us. Hey, I'm usually asleep by now. Cut me some slack. It's not a problem. I'll go get the napkins, okay? Um... Excuse me. I'm sorry. Give me one moment, will you? Uh, uh, um, uh, on second thought, I'll use my paws. <laughs> yeah, yeah, never mind. <laughs> you know, fur. It's super absorbent. Oh, yeah, um, uh, thank you for all your help, but I, I, gotta, I gotta go. <laughs> hey, wait! Sam, what's wrong? It looks like you saw a ghost or something on your way up there. Wait, did you? Cause I'm trying to write this paper and a ghost would make a really good addition to- Uh, nope. Uh, no ghosts and uh, no napkins. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry you guys. Uh, uh, shouldn't we be going anyways? It's getting really late and I don't want to make anyone's parents upset. Uh, you sure you're alright, dude? Oh, uh, yeah. Just peachy. Uh, well, uh, I'll be waiting outside. Um, hurry if you can. Well then, I guess we can go ahead and finish. Um, I'll go after him real quick. You guys get to go cups and napkins or whatever you two need. Thanks, Olive. Um, excuse me, do you work here? I need a couple napkins to go. Of course I can. Give me a few moments, you girls. I think we know who the ghost was that scared Sam now. 